Our bags are packed. We'll be getting on Anthem of the Sea soon. Yay! Check out my spooky cat shirt of the day. This is my happy place. So, cruise tip. Drive down the night before and stay in a hotel. Or fly down the night before and stay in a hotel. That way you don't miss the boat because of traffic. That's what we're doing. See? We're in a Holiday Inn. Tip number three, guys. Make yourself a cruise folder. Doesn't have to be anything fancy, but print out your boarding pass, make a schedule, print out like parking stuff and hotel stuff. All the info you need to make it onto your cruise and put it all into this folder just in case your phone isn't working or you can't get service or your battery goes dead. You never know. And make sure to screenshot your boarding pass too on your phone. Just in case. You never know. And for you new cruisers out there, tip number four. Don't forget to put your luggage tag onto your luggage. It'll be uh, inside the packet you get once you check in to the cruise, either online or through the app. You'll get this and you attach it. We got the plastic thing that's holding it from Amazon if you want to get one. They're not very expensive. So don't forget this. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait around for them to do it at the cruise port. And that's just going to slow you down from getting on the boat. It's the next day, the day we get on the cruise, and today we got this spooky cat shirt. What do you think? Goodbye ghetto looking holiday inn, at least on the outside. Where you park to drop off your luggage, see all these numbers? They're gonna tell you what number to go to. And you just park up and get your luggage and you do tip them. Why don't you drop your stuff off with the porters? You're gonna go around here. Now you might be parking in a covered parking lot. You might be parking in a not covered parking lot. I'm not sure why one gets picked over another one or not. Looks like this time we're getting to the covered parking lot. Parking sure has gone up. We used to play 92 at one point. Why don't you park? You walk here, you gotta have all your stuff out and ready to go at the time that you're supposed to go in. We are 20 minutes early, so we might not be able to go in yet. We may have to chill out here. You'll be going through metal detectors next once you get inside, so make sure to get all the metal off of you. If you're thinking about packing a heating pad, don't. They're not allowed. We just got hung up because a guy had a heating pad in his carry-on. <laughs> Almost there! Yeah, 
We gotta go to B3 for our mustard drill. But we might cheat and book our restaurants if it's here. Mustard drill done. On the app it says the room was going to be ready at 1, but they've told us 1.30 or 2. And that was the same when we were on Symphony of the Seas. I'm gonna guess because they're probably short of housekeeping staff. So it takes a little longer. All right, mustard drill done. And our three restaurants for our three meal package are booked. So, time to have some fun. Sunday Windy. Guess what? Nobody's in the pools. My guess it's because it's 30 degrees out. Here's the indoor swimming, which is where we'll probably mostly be until we get to the Caribbean. Here's the solarium, which I think Anthem solarium is way better than the other solariums I've seen so far. I don't know why, I just like its design better. Like, Symphony's just had chairs. It was not even a pool or anything. This one's so much better. And here's the Solarium Bistro where we're going to have lunch instead of Windjammer. Solarium Bistro is free, so you don't have to pay extra for this. Looks pretty good too. Just got a little right now because I got a whole bunch of crap that I'm carrying around. Pookie's got the chicken and he's digging it. Pookie's going to get dessert, then it's going to be my time to get dessert. Definitely getting dessert this time. My last cruise, I almost had no dessert. How sad. Oreo cheesecake. Mm. Those look good. Okay. Look at all the desserts. Yummy. Saw this nice little meat plate by the dessert, so I decided to get it. And I got the same chocolate as Zach. And I got a lemon thing, because I've been liking lemon lately. Plus the Oreo cheesecake was out, so we're gonna give these a try. Of course, I love the chocolate. The chocolate is excellent. <laughs> and actually, I like this lemon thing too. It's pretty good. It's got a little bit of a tartness to it. The Solarium Bistro is also a buffet. It was smaller than Windjammers, but it's also a lot less chaotic. So less selection, but more laid back. <laughs> so that's where you want to go if you don't want the chaos of the Windjammers. Okay. There's Zach's drink. What is this drink? The Goomba Smash. The Goomba Smash. Is that the drink of the day? So that's what he got, this QR code. We're at the Solarium Bar. I ordered a Toblerone, which I'm happy to say he knew what I was talking about. Hello. So, Good. give this drink a try. No, we don't. You like the Pancheser package? There's the Toblerone. No, we actually don't drink that much. Alrighty, we're gonna give this Toblerone drink a try. How is it? Oh, that's good. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We're out here on the wings so we can see New York City. It's just outside of the solarium. You gotta go all the way to the bottom and to either your farthest left or farthest, farthest right. Farthest. <laughs> and you'll see an exit. And you can come out here. There it is. New York City. This is just the beginning.
more Anthem of the Seas will be coming up. Lots more. This is just video number one. So I hope you found the information useful. And if you did, let me know down in the comments. And there, if there's other things you want to know about Anthem of the Seas, please let me know down in the comments. This is the Spooky Cat Lady, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye!